This vlog is about doing more, that's why we produce our videos. To help us, to motivate us to do more. This month, we've done a lot more. We've been in a helicopter, we've been traveling, we drove a Mustang. But today, I'm back in London, the adventure's over. We're currently at the train station. Often doing more means getting out of your comfort zone. And today, I'm getting out of my comfort zone big time. I'm getting out of London to talk to around 200 people in Coventry about improving people's lives. That's pretty nerve wracking for me. I really hate public speaking. Let's see how it goes. What's in there? I'm at station number two on the journey and it is getting progressively colder as I head north. I really should have worn some more clothes for this trip. This is the smallest train I've ever seen. And I need to get on it. One carriage for all these people. I'm here. Alright, so I think I found the place. I hope I'm not presenting to the entire arena because it's actually quite big. I think I was just on a train full of the people that I'm presenting to. So half of them seen me talking to a camera and the other half saw me watching Joe Sugg on the way here. So it's going really well so far. Hi. Um, you still need to register to go. Hi, I'm presenting today. Do you know where I should be going? That's quite long, there's people that go down there. I hope this isn't a pathetic fallacy. The weather's gotten really poo since this morning. Eon North. So much energy in that room. Hello. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm presenting today. This Jack. Oh, speaking. Nice to meet you, yeah. Yeah, lovely. My little lecture begins. <laughs> Thank you. Like a Are browser. You I think that went. Okay. Yeah, Alright. My worker is done. Let's get back to London. This is too fun. I've got to go home now. The weather's horrible. But I did a good job. I know it's on edge and I was worried about this thing. I think it went okay. Let's get this train back. Hold the lily as it's here. Hi. I'm home now. I think that talk went quite well. The talk was about changing lives through using data better. Especially in public sector services. So, you know, quite interesting, but really important. Anyway, I thought you guys could really benefit from knowing three things to make you a better public speaker. First of those is being nervous is good. I was really nervous. It's kind of like going on a date. If you don't have butterflies in your stomach beforehand, then it's probably not going to be a great date because you're not excited about it. What I do, which I learned from someone else, is that I try and trick myself that those nervous feelings and those butterflies are excitement. And you can get really pumped off that. It's kind of like an adrenaline. Without it, your talk's not going to be very good because there's not going to be much energy there. Number two, don't over prepare. If you over prepare, it will sound like you're reading from a script. There's nothing worse than that in a presentation. Leave yourself room to talk around the things that you're passionate about. That's how you get the best from a presentation. Hang on a sec. That's odd. Huh. All very strange. 
I'm probably not going to skate through that because I'm not as cool as other people. Sorry, that would have been a cool thumbnail. The other thing to remember is the power of three. Three is a very powerful number. Not like seven in Harry Potter, three is the number to stick to. That might mean making three major points in your presentation, or it might be making three points per slide. The idea is to use three to your advantage. And remember, the last of your three will be the one that the audience remembers the most. So use the power of three. All right, that's my presentation tips, over. I've got to get these pizzas home because it's Game of Thrones night. We've got four weeks to catch up on, so it's going to be a long haul. A good one. I'm excited.